And when it expresses itself in a certain way, that's exactly what God's plan is. Is for you to be the way you are. Because you cannot be anything else. I mean, try to be someone else. I mean, I, I will give you this, this homework. Today, for the next few hours, try to be someone else. Try to act differently. Try to be something else. And see how long that will last. How long you can pretend that you're something else. And you will find it that it's, it requires a lot of effort to be something else because you can't be anything else and see how effortless it is to be yourself see how easy it is to be yourself go ahead as, as i was uh, writing um I have uh, heard a uh, lot of stories when uh, God uh, or the Absolute interferes in uh, what is going on physically. I, again, I have heard a lot of stories uh, when the Absolute or God interferes with what is going on physically. If whatever was going on is uh, God's plan, then uh, God would not need to interfere. Yeah, I mean, the, maybe it interferes, maybe it doesn't. If it interferes, that's also a part of uh, the plan. Because instant healing happens, you know? But look, look at the whole thing. The entire consciousness, the entire life force creates, someone's being born with a, with a defect or something happens to somebody. Somebody has an accident or they may get paralyzed or something happened to their neck and their neck is like this for a number of years and then maybe they go through some transformation or healing and it gets fixed. So we can always come and say, why did it happen in the first place and why did it get fixed later? And why would God create this situation that something would go wrong with you and then God would create a situation that you get healed? That always could be a question. Or why would somebody be born with a health defect to begin with? Why would God do that? Right? That's a very valid question, isn't it? So, to me, when I keep asking these questions, okay, there's another one. Why would even... God create a, a universe or planet Earth or human right, race which is unconscious. It's sleepy. And a few of us out of 7 billion people, we have become spiritual beings. Means that there's a mechanism, something has been triggered inside us that we start becoming a seeker. We're seeking. We're asking, we're looking for answers to our questions about our nature of our existence. Why? Why am I here? Why was I born? Where am I going to go after I die? And what's the purpose of life? So why would God... Why, why weren't we all created like as angels and fully enlightened beings? Why do we have to be created like this? And then we have to go through the process of suffering and trying to get enlightened. Why weren't we born enlightened to begin with? Right? This is a very valid question, isn't it? 
Haven't you asked that question before? Uh, yeah. Uh, children are... Uh, huh? Uh, children, as far as I know, are enlightened. Right. Mm. So then, okay, let's say children are enlightened. Then they get unenlightened, correct? They get screwed up by the society and conditioning or parents beating them up or sexually abusing them or sending them in the army or they get to witness killing and all kinds of stuff and they get messed up. As a lot of us got messed up as we were growing up. And then we become spiritual seekers and we go towards God realization and slowly, slowly we come back on this path. So why would they, why do we have to go through this process to begin with? Why weren't we born perfect angels from the beginning? 